Hey, I'm just here to make dummy proof wiring videos. What is up you guys and welcome back to Brittany Automotive. So my last wiring video, I ended up getting a ton of questions and I thought what better way to answer them than through video. So today we are gonna go through different connectors and how to pin them and depin them. So I actually had an unterminated harness from Holly and I ended up opening it just to see what connectors were in there. And the main ones that I found were the Metropack and the Delphi GT150s, and then obviously your J connectors. Now these are what your J connectors are gonna look like, and they are pretty simple compared to most of the connectors when it comes to pinning and depinning. There is one side that has a white bar, and the other side has two. So you can take whatever tool and just push the big bar. It should pop out the two small ones. Now to depin these, you just pull it out. It's now released all of the other wires. So if you wanted to pull out any of the others, you could pull them out. And if you wanted to pin them, you just simply stick them back in. And when you're done, you lock it back into place by pushing these two again. And if it doesn't lock, that means one of your wires is not pushed all the way through. Now with these J connectors, you have two different size pins that you can use. The tabs look just a little different. One is for a 20 to 22 and one is for a 16 to 18 gauge wire. Now on these pins, there are two tabs that you have to crimp. There is a tool that is about $250 if you want to crimp both of them at the same time and make things go a lot faster. Or you can just use a simple one of these and you can crimp both tabs separately, which takes a little longer, but I find it to be just as effective. The next common connector that is used is a Metropack. This is going to be used for your wideband, your coils, and your injectors. To pin these Metropack connectors, you're first going to start by adding your rubber seal. Make sure that the ribs are on the back side and then just move it out of your way. Next, you're going to strip your wire. And I always like to twist them just to make sure that they don't fray once you crimp them down. Then take your female terminal, place it inside like that, and then choose your correct size of crimp for whatever wire you're using and what size terminal and then i like to do a tug test to make sure that the wires are not moving inside and if they are not go ahead and move the rubber seal up and on that same tool there should be a circle crimp it should look like that now, when you go to put them into the connector, there's a tab that is located on your terminal and it flows with the tab of the connector. You'll hear a click and then do a little tug test. Now to depin these, there is a little tab on the top side here. You typically have a special tool for Betra Pack that you can place right above, push it in and then just gently push down and then you should be able to release it and pull it out. And then if you plan on reusing this terminal, you will have to get in there and pull that tab back up so that it attaches the next time you put it in there. The next very common connector that is used is the Delphi GT150. This is going to be your oil, your fuel, your CTS, your TPS, and your IAC sensors. Um, there's actually two different ways that they come. There is a pull to seat and a push to seat. The difference here is that when you're going to do the pull to seat, we run the wire through the rubber seal and then run the wire through the actual connector itself without a terminal on it. And then from here, you will strip your wire, put the terminal on and then pull it through until it clicks in. And then the push to seat is wired exactly the way that the metro packs are wired. GT150s utilize both a TPA, which reduces the stress on the back side of the wires, as well as a front locking system. If you want to depin these, you have to start by taking off the TPA. And then once you get that off, you have the front lock system, which you just squeeze both sides and pull off. There are two tabs on the top. If you want this wire out, just pull this tab up. Once you've got that tab pulled up, you can now release the terminal. The next connector that we are gonna talk about is the Deutsch connectors. And there are three different types of Deutsch connectors. There's the DTM, which is the mini, the DT, which is regular Deutsch, and there is the DTP, which is the plus size. So the mini runs 
seven and a half amps per pin, and it's for 18 to 24 gauge wires. The regular Deutsch connector runs 18 to 16 gauge wires, and you can run 13 amps through each pin. And the plus size one runs 25 amps per pin, and it's for 12 to 14 gauge wires. So on these tools, it actually specifies which gauge of wire fits, um, and then you simply put the pin all the way in, and then once it's in, you put the wire in as well, and then you crimp it, and it should do a clean crimp on its own. One common connector that I do not have an example of, but I will show you a picture of, is a mil spec. Mil specs can get pretty expensive, and what it does is it goes on your firewall, so you have basically one set of wires that comes from your ECU to your firewall, plugs in, and then from the other side of your firewall, it plugs in to the rest of your harness. It makes things very convenient and very easy to change and work on. However, they do get very pricey. And for these, you use the same exact tools as a Deutsch connector, just depends on what wire size you're using. Obviously, there are a ton of connectors that I did not mention, like the Yuzakis, the Molex, the AMPs, more for like the Coyote engines, but these are just like the main ones that I have used, that I am familiar with, that I feel comfortable teaching you guys. If there's specific ones that you guys want me to look into and order and I will show them to you, I will happily do that. But these are just ones that I had on hand and that I know a lot of people use themselves. Everything that you've seen here in this video can be ordered off of ProWire. I will link them down below. You guys can get the tools, the connectors, if you need wire, loom, heat shrink, whatever, that is where I order all of my stuff. So I'm gonna link them down below and leave some order numbers for you guys to quickly find tools and such. Also down below is going to be a heat wave link and a discount code. You guys can use Brittany underscore 10 to get 10% off. Help me out and help yourself out. You guys can get new protective glasses while you're in the garage or just some cool new shades while you're at the track. While y'all are down there looking at links, my socials are gonna be linked down there. If you guys have a specific video idea that you guys want to see in the future, definitely leave them in the comments. I will think about doing them. And thank you guys for watching. I hope that I answered a lot of your questions and that this video was educational. Thank you guys again, and I will see you next week.